The immigration debate continues to rage in Washington. A federal judge says the Trump administration cannot end a program that shields some undocumented young people from deportation. However, federal and local law enforcement continue to look for ways to partner together to get undocumented immigrants off the streets and out of the country. They say they're targeting the worst of the worst, but opponents claim they're just igniting fear. The images are unforgettable. In Lake Wales, an officer overpowered, beaten, and bitten. In Sarasota, a motorcyclist slammed into in a violent road rage hit and run. Oh my God. The common denominator in both cases, the accused perpetrators never should have been in the country to begin with. Uh, during the bookend process and the interview process, he, he told our investigators that he was not a legal citizen. Lake Wales Police Deputy Chief Troy Schultz says his officers immediately reached out to Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE agents. The effort to keep a guy like accused cop attacker Marcelino Jimenez Cruz locked up and eventually kicked out of the country is nothing new, but the methods, much like the country's politics, keep changing. Well, the federal courts across the United States started ruling against us. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says in the past, county jails would hold undocumented offenders like Jimenez Cruz or the accused Sarasota road rager Magdiel Medrano Bonilla beyond their scheduled release to give ICE agents an opportunity to scoop them up. But the court challenges were unrelenting, opponents calling the practice unconstitutional. So early this year, 17 Florida sheriffs entered into what's called a Basic Ordering Agreement, or BOA, with immigration officials. Three legal documents, contracts of sorts with the feds, allowing an extra 48-hour local hold on undocumented immigrants. If at the end of that 48 hours, ICE hasn't come to take possession of them, we still have to turn them loose. When we look at the data, we understand that most immigrants do not commit crime. Pamela Gomez works with the Florida Immigrant Coalition, a statewide network working for the equal and fair treatment of immigrant communities. She says the new BOA approach is still a violation of immigrants' rights to due process, and she argues it'll have a chilling effect in the community. What we're seeing is because people are afraid, right, who are undocumented, to even call the cops when they see something horrible happen. But local law enforcement agencies argue horrible things are already happening at the hands of people who need to be off the streets. I feel if there are others where people are not lawfully here in the United States and they're committing violent felonies, they're victimizing their communities, and the people you know who live in those communities, it's, it's time for them to go. We're after one thing, that illegal alien that's a criminal committing crime and victimizing people in this country. That's all. They got to go. They got to go right now. The ACLU refers to this basic ordering agreement as a scheme that's specifically designed to target undocumented immigrants whose only crime is entering the country illegally. The 17 sheriffs who are partnering with ICE say they're most concerned with felons, violent criminals who are breaking local laws once they've already entered the country. We have a lot of sheriffs in the state of Florida. You mentioned only 17. Some might be wondering why not more. Well, sure. This is a pilot program. It started in January, mm -hmm. and, and you heard the sheriff uh, allude there to the legal challenges they've faced right. in the past when they've tried to hold these folks for longer than their local business mm -hmm. uh, required. So they're hoping this BOA will help them overcome some of those legal challenges, and if that turns out to be the case, I think you'll see it yeah, in a lot of other places. Yeah, something much bigger. Yes, yeah. for mm -hmm. sure. Sounds good. All right. And we have a lot more information for you, too, on Florida's Im illegal immigrant struggle. Find out where ICE is arresting violent, undocumented outlaws on WFLA.com and our social media pages.